All right, here's a little heads up. Uh, I decided to change things up a little bit. I'm going to do a pop-out in the back seat, uh, going up from the top, coming down, kind of like how this is the front seat. By the way, this is the front seat done. Um, but I'm going to have it so that the center pops out higher and then comes down and is higher also. So if you're running wire in this one, uh, I'm doing it because I wanted to try it. Uh, this is the back seat. I still need to foam the top, but uh, like I said, there'll, there'll be a, a seam in here on both sides. So this pops out. Um, also across the top, I'll be adding more here than here so that when I when I pull everything together, it's going to pop out. So right now, I'm doing the fabric for the top, I mean for the back seat. I've extended this out. See, I wanted this to graduate in, so I made it a softer foam so that this would actually come in and all end up together, but it would still pop out on the edges here. Um, also, where the back seat is, where the where the seat comes down, I didn't want it to, pull, to pound up, so I stopped it here so that the seat can set in, that's this piece, the bottom there, can set in pretty comfortably here, and hopefully I'm right. Now, like I said, I've never done this before, but I'm videoing as I go. Also, I didn't use any hog pins for this one. I used uh, spray adhesive. So it seems to work really good for me. I like spray adhesive. I've used it for just about everything, so here it is. Um, did this a little differently this time. I just literally just stitched it up. I set them on top of each other and stitched it. So this is stitched down, stitched down. It's all pretty flat. This one is done. Then I also did my reinforcement seams on this one, um, so that when you see it, it's going to be like this. Now the downside, what I'm dealing with, is getting everything lined up and not having too much extra seam on the outside. You know, this is the back seat, so it's not going to matter as much, but it still matters to me. Um, so I'll, I'll be lining this line up to the center here. This is going to come right here when all said and done. The red will come in here, and I'm going to put the wiring in here, which means I'm going to put the red in after I do the seam for this, because what I'll basically do is sew this together like that all the way so I can run a piece of wire all the way up. And then I'll, t I'll pull it tight, and it'll pull right down into that. You can kind of see what it does there. And then I'll, once I get that on, then I'll have to pull this straight, and it'll get all that out. So it'll pretty much have a look kind of tighter than that, but kind of like that. And then this will, with the red going in after the fact, this will line up better. So wish me luck. I've never done it. Tried it. But, hey, if you want to be a master first, you've got to give it a try, right? So next time you see it, hopefully these will be turning out something cool. So here we go.